So hello and welcome back to the Hobby Corner. My name is Kev and today we're looking at issue 12 of the Imperial Magazine. Today's issue has been sponsored by Mifos from the Frosts and Fists YouTube channel. Go check them out. I'll put all the links in the description below. Thank you so much Mifos, you absolute babe. You're a sugar babe of all babes. You're an absolute fucking legend of all babes. So thank you so much for covering this issue. And if you too want to be an absolute legend, then I'll put the link in the comments below where you can go and make your donation and support this channel by sponsoring an issue and getting an entire video and any subsequent videos relating to that issue with your name plastered all over it and the internet forever lauding and echoing your name as an absolute fucking legend. So let's get on with this issue, shall we? This issue is a paint issue, but it's a cool one because we get a shade and two paints, a layer and a base. We've got Screamer Pink, which we'll probably use for little bits of uh, detail. We've got Canoptic Alloy, a nice layer paint. I haven't got one of these yet, so it'd be nice to try that out. And we also got uh, the Agrax Earthshade, which you can never have too much of. It is li liquid talent. It is literally liquid talent. So let's put those to the side. This actually makes this issue a saving. I can't remember. I think it's like um, a pound something or two pounds something. So um, yeah, that's that's the end of that though. Because for a, for as far as we know, any other uh, paint issues are gonna just have two paints in them. So that's gonna be a big shame. But never mind. Let's have a look at the cover of this one. We got Necron War Gear names, painting guide, and rules for heroes in game. So let's flick through. So over here we have Necrons, weapons and war gear names. Now we had one of these for the Space Marines. So it's really cool that we get one for the Necrons as well. War gear of the Necrons. It says, all Necron dynasties possess vast crypt complexes filled with technological wonders ranging from defensive dispersion shields and destructive disruption fields to arcane devices known as chronoma chronometrons which can bend and shape the very passage of time because necrons are absolutely mad yo so um i'm gonna have a whole load of fun there it's on a d33 so of course you roll two dice and half the results and uh one will be for your tens and one will be for your units in there a little chart to clear that out but up here it says the weapons and war gear of the necron race are as technologically advanced as they are incredibly ancient these devices are created maintained and powered by the eldritch science of the necron cryptic engineers and their names reflect the incredible power they possess i mean these dudes are pretty gnarly when it comes to tech so let's have a look at what the cryptic's got to say for himself I'm going to do the voice of it. So this is Zalkar, Cryptek of the Nihilak uh, Dynasty. The superiority of our technology is self-evident. Our dynasties possess nothing that has slain the greatest of our foes, both mortal and divine. The names of these weapons are spoken of in harsh tones. Holy beautiful is delayed tears the souls of his victims from their bodies. The whole take staff, which can reef a mortal in lightning and sheer flesh from a woman. What hope does the lesser races in the face of a lotless artifice? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta stop doing that. Um, so Necron range weapon names as well. So we got some stuff here. Um, for all kinds of stuff, you know, you've got Gauss Blasters, Gauss Reapers, Relic Gauss, you know, then you've got Staff of Light and all that sort of cool stuff, like here. Um, it's a melee weapon as well, so you've got some melee weapon names. It's all cool stuff, so uh, yeah, feel free to have a look at all of that. Let's zoom out of that. Then we move on to the Imperium Nihilus. The Imperium Nihilus lies beyond the roiling warp storms that make up the Great Rift. Cut off from terror and blind to the astronomicans light, those who dwell here face a legion of nightmarish foes. Yeah, you got a nice picture of Abaddon 
the, the spoiler. So, got a nice bit here about the other side of the Great Rift and uh, all the world's torn apart and going to absolute crap. Um, so, nice bit of toilet reading there. And we also got the Natchmond Gauntlet, which is the one of the very few um, safe passages. Oh, it says it actually is one of only two stable passages from the Imperium Sanctus, which is the safe side that can uh, still see the uh, Astronomicon and that, uh, into the Imperium Nihilus. It has been the site of several vicious battles between the Imperium and other forces who seek to control this route. The largest of these conflicts have been centered around the Vigilus system on the Imperium Nihilus side of the Great Rift. Um, you also got Commander Dante over here. He's, as far as we know, one of the oldest Space Marines knocking about. And it says, uh, Commander Dante is the chapter master of the Blood Angel Space Marine chapter. The Blood Angels chapter planet, Baal, lies in the Imperium Nihilus. Named regent of the Imperium Nihilus by Rebute Gilliman, Dante is now responsible for commanding all Imperial forces in this region of the galaxy. He has sworn to purge the Imperium Nihilus of chaos. Can you imagine having that kind of responsibility put on you by Primarch? He's been resurrected, no less, right? And he goes, yo, you're the oldest dude around. You've seen a lot of battle. I trust you to run half of the galaxy's worth of the Imperium of man in my stead. What? That's pretty sick. Then we've got chapter planets. So many space marine chapters operate from a single home world where, the ca where they carry out the training, recruit new warriors and rearm their forces. It is their sovereign domain over which they have complete authority of Oh, and their chapter master is Lord of All. Blah, blah, blah. So, um, more toilet reading there. What I love about paint issues is that you get so much uh, information and fluff, you know? And there's stories, and you, you can literally spend a couple of toilet trips reading this stuff. It's really cool. Uh, you also got fleet based chapters, which you utilize a vast fleet of starships as their center of operations. Um, they have no home worlds and are largely nomadic in nature crossing the galaxy of both strike cruisers, battle barges, warp capable star fortresses and other uh, gigantic vessels. Um, some of them are Black Templars, Lamenters and Blood Ravens who have never had a home world to call their own. And then of course you've got Dark Angels, um, Invaders and Crimson uh, Castellans. Uh, who've seen their chapter planet obliterated or rendered uninhabitable and then they've gone into fleet-based operations and then you've got fortress monasteries which are gigantic citadels where space marines headquarters are located and uh, yeah essentially they speak for themselves it is essentially a massive fortress which looks like part spaceship anyway so there you go then we move on to Chaos Demons. So Chaos Demons. No enemy of the Imperium is more terrible than the Demons of Chaos. They are numberless foot soldiers of the Dark Gods, routed from the very essence of the Immaterium. Their monstrous forms are shaped by the darkest nightmares of cruelest desires of mortal beings. Ba -ba so we've got a nice little inquisitional, inquisitional? inquisitorial report on demons here um so again oh toilet reading but i'm gonna flip over because i can't read everything for you boys and girls because then i'll just spoil it for you and then you've got the chaos gods so we've got a quick blurb on which ones do what so you got corn who, uh, who's the blood god um chaos god of anger violence and hatred his demons are rescuing monsters clutching hell forged blades who seek only to conquer and destroy all in their path yeah, blood for the blood god, skull for the skull throne, yeah. So, you know, that sort of stuff. The Nurgle is a chaos god of plague and decay. His demons are bloated with rot and covered in pus-filled boils. Most are jovial creatures who take pleasure in spreading disease across the galaxy because they see it as a gift. Then they want to spread the gifts and happiness, don't they? Then you got Zinch or Zench, depends how you want to pronounce that um is the chaos god of change 
an ever-scheming god. He is associated with sorcery. His brightly coloured demons go to war with vibrant, destructive displays of magic. And then you have Slanesh, or Slanesh, however you want to say that. De uh, Chaos God of pain, pleasure and excess. He is the youngest of the Chaos Gods. His demons are both beautiful and horrific, with leaf, graceful bodies marred with monstrous mutations. Nice. And then here... From this inquisitor it says to read the emperor's tarot is to foresee the fate of worlds the cards of the dark gods herald their fate foul corruption should such a card be turned we of the inquisition must be vigilant where the ruinous powers stir heresy is surely afoot inquisitor rodrigo pike very cool and now we get to the painting bits so uh, we'll just quickly flick through it you'll use the liquid gold that is Agrax Earthshade on everything you'll use the Screamer Pink to take out some of those details Canoptic Alloy and the Agrax Earthshade to do other bits on them uh, on Necrons and there's your final gallery for those cool and then we get into the playthrough defending the crypts the necron overlord has risen from his slumber and gained control of his forces however his crypt complex remains under siege he accompanies his phalanxes of necro warriors as they stalk the corridors hunting down the intruders yeah so got a nice little playthrough you're using a smaller mat again that's fine uh you got the captain and the three assault incessors and then you got Five uh, Necron Warriors with Gus Flares or Gorse Flares, however you want to say that, uh, along with the Overlord. And you just duke it out, I suppose. So, what are we. Right here, the keywords of characters. Okay. So, you've got your fully updated uh, things here. Keywords. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be for sp something special. Oh, yeah, the lookout surfing. There you go. So, you'll be practicing that. Uh, models cannot shoot at a character while it's within three inches of a friendly unit of three or more models Unless the character is the closest target. There you go So you have to shoot down these chaps and these chaps before you can shoot the heroes. Boom! Or the characters, sorry So it does a little playthrough of that. Looks pretty cool. It's pretty gnarly there. And then it's uh, Last man standing Groovy and that is the end of that issue Issue 13, we have the Assault Intercessors, Origins of the Necrons, and the new Fight Phase rules. And then, Issue 14, we get the uh, Munitorum Armoured Container, new painting techniques, and use your terrain in games. So there we go. That's pretty cool. That's a really good issue. Even though people frown and look down on paint issues, they make it up with content, and that's brilliant content. And hey... This is actually a saving so let me know what you think in the comments below i want to say again a massive thank you to mythos from the frost and fist channel big love to you mate from across the pond you're an absolute fucking legend and if you too want to be an absolute fucking legend and sponsor an uh, issue the link will be in the comments below just click it make your donation let me know who it's from and what it's for and you too can have a whole issue a whole episode dedicated in your honor and any subsequent F, uh, shows or anything that requires this material, I'll give you another shout out. And for anything else, if you want to like, share, comment, uh, subscribe, all that beautiful stuff helps to support the channel. There's affiliate links in the description below on the link tree link. You can also go visit the brand new Discord channel. Uh, it's a fantastic place for the friendly enthusiastic and inspirational people so go check that out it's absolutely amazing and of course if you want to go in for further to support the channel then you've got your affiliate links where you can get your stuff uh, from forbidden planet for the magazines or element games for your hobby needs and lastly if you want to be that extra super sexy babe just for two pound a month you can go to the buy me a coffee membership sign up and get your awesome perks and at the same time know that you're feeding that hamster that's running in the turret wheel, keeping those lights on and keeping the dice rolling and the music going on. So, big love to you all. Stay safe. I hope to see you soon again. Peace.